Hi friends, my name is Marina. I am the mite medic. Uh, I am a specialist in Demodex mite proliferation specifically uh, and helping those uh, who are suffering from Demodex mite proliferation with holistic solutions, uh, meaning that uh, I use herbal medicine, I use diet, and also we do incorporate prescription drugs uh, uh, in small dosages, depending on your um, state of health, really. But uh, the main goals for me and Demodex mite proliferation are definitely dietary, uh, lifestyle, and herbal supplementation. Uh, I wrote the best-selling book, The Demodex Solution. It's a 90-day solution uh, to treat your Demodex. Uh, it also uh, incorporates so many different types of uh, solutions and diets that I found were helpful for my uh, Demodex journey for when I uh, was healing from it specifically. Those foods, those diets, I combined them all into one ideal diet. I would say for the general public, a generalized diet that will help those from Demodex. Um, if you do want something more personalized, then you can definitely have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me uh, or a one-on-one -on -one consultation with my team. But today, what I wanted to speak about was eyelash mites. So eyelash mites are uh, Demodex mites and they are always on us, on our body. Demodex mites are always inhabitants of our body. But these eyelash mites, they can uh, proliferate and that's one when there's a Demodex proliferation, you might see white spots or white sort of dandruff on your eyelashes, eyelash irritation. Uh, that is really called blepharitis. Uh, and there is a solution to blepharitis. But the, those little mites on you, yes, we have mites on us. Uh, it does sound a little bit spooky, but these mites are healthy, uh, a healthy part of our microbiome. You can actually get tested and see if you have a proliferation. That is uh, up to you. You can also look at symptomology, symptoms of the uh, of this mite, what this mite might, might cause, uh, but this mite has symptoms that we might not know about, a lot of hidden symptoms that we might not know about. Um, but today we're talking about eyelash mites specifically because these mites can be all over your body. I do want to tailor this video for those suffering from eyelash mites specifically because that is a popular subject that is something that many people suffer from. A true expert on Demodex mites will understand that Demodex are all over our body. Uh, they're from a weakened immune system. They can be treated on the eyes, yes, but uh, we won't find the root cause by just treating the eyelids or the eyelashes uh, of Demodex mites. So what really are eyelash mites? There are two types of mites, Demodex folliculorum and Demodex brevis. Uh, they're also called eyelash mites. They can live in any single pores of the skin in addition to the edge of the lash line, but they usually prefer the oily parts. Demodex mites are known to feed off of sebum. That's their medium, so that's their food source. Sebum, uh, a surprising fact, is produced usually from insulin resistance. So eating eating too much sugar, processed foods, having high blood sugar can cause us to have this uh, excess, excessive sebum uh, that is produced from our sebaceous glands. So they can live these demodex mites can live on any single pores of the skin in addition to the edge of the lash line right uh, they usually prefer the they love the oily bits of that They're, they are more active on the face the eyes especially in the scalp upper chest and back where the oily parts are where the sebum is produced more we see them on the scalp a lot especially with People who suffer from scalp infections or inflammation, they start off, they love the, the oils in the scalp and of course in, near the eyelashes or the hairline. Demodex folliculorum appears to play a more significant role in ocular mite-related eye complications. So they love the follicle, uh, hence folliculorum. Demodex occurs naturally, but only in small numbers. So we, all of us, we have Demodex. But 
in small numbers. So if we were to take a skin scraping and look at under the microscope, you would most likely have demodex mites, but just very small quantity of them. Unfortunately, many of them can lead to various complications though, uh, one of which is redness and itching around the eyes and eyelash line. Unfortunately, this is if this complication worsens, it can lead to blepharitis, hence the blepharitis, um, you know, all the products created for blepharitis by those eye doctors. If left untreated, it can it can cause your eyelashes to fall out. Those are one of the symptoms. Uh, and it can also cause uh, eyelash and deformity as well as vision issues. So you can have more deformed eyelash line uh, or eyelid line and also vision issues. The eyelashes are entirely destroyed. The roots have fallen off. I can compare it to a forest. I can compare it to a jungle. Uh, those eyelashes are the trees. And the roots of the trees are loose and deformed. So it looks like there something happened. There was a war. There was a fire. Some sort of tragedy. That's sort of what I can compare it to. Of course, eyelash mites are too small to be detected with a naked eye, that's why it is important to get tested, especially if you are harboring those symptoms of eyelash mite infection. They're less than 0.3 millimeters in length. They're a cigar-shaped body and they are semi-transparent, so you can detect them pretty easily. Each adult mite has tiny octopi that make it easy to attach the tubular objects such as eyelashes, meaning that they have tiny little uh, octopus feet that can attach to those to those eyelashes. But they live deep in the skin, so they live in the follicles and the in the sebaceous glands, and they start laying eggs to proliferate at the same place. Demodex climbs up to the surface mostly at night for eating, mating, and sabotaging. So, sabotaging means that you will. Uh, receive achieve those symptoms that you weren't hoping for you redness foreign body sensation scaly rough patches of skin so uh, that's the sabotaging of the mites going on so this is really why the symptoms of these of these eyelash mites intensify in the morning so you might go to bed you might feel better at night this the you might start feeling more activity and in the morning the symptoms might intensify but they do feed on dead skin cells, dead cells and some of that oil that comes along with them. For this reason, we can say that a small number of mites act as a natural cleansing system. So they're here to cleanse our body and eat those dead skin cells and that sebum off of us, which is great. But a few symptoms, now I'd like to get to the symptoms. A few of those are worsening of skin manifestations. So this can be your eczema is worsening, your rosacea is worsening, uh, acne is worsening, dermatitis. All of those are, uh, the mites are causing your skin infections to worsen, which that automatically tells you that you could have those mites who are that are affecting your body. You can even have blurred vision from your from those mites, especially around your eyelid and those eyelashes. You can have eye irritation. You can have itching of the eyes and around it. So scaly rough patches of the skin. You can feel it with your fingertip if it's scaly or a rough patch. Uh, of course, a foreign body sensation on the eyes. Those symptoms combined can worsen and lead to blepharitis if left untreated. Uh, meaning one of the symptoms of eyelash mites is blepharitis. We do see those symptoms on uh, demodex mite patients who have uh, eyelash mites. So what do demodex do to the eyelashes? Demodex mites, they tend to destroy things when there is a proliferation. So one of the things that they do, one of the things that they destroy is they cause tissue damage. They have these tiny little claws and they tend to be harmless, but not always. So these claws that these mites have, they are not harmless. Let's say one. Okay, one is fine. One little claw is okay. But let's say a few hundred, a few thousand little knives are scratching your delicate skin, the delicate skin of your eyelash at the same time. I'm pretty sure you'll have inflammation 
I don't think that would be an abnormal reaction. These are called microabrasions. They're caused by claw scratches can lead they can lead to epithelial hyperplasia. There's also a reactive hyperkeratinization in addition to the inflammation. So this means there's a result of cylindrical dandruff at the base of the eyelashes. After that, the demodex consumes the epithelial cells of the follicles. This loosens those follicles and uh, really paves the way for falling of the lashes. When the demodex proliferation becomes too large, up to 25 of them fit into a small follicle. So it seems natural for the follicle space to dilate and the lashes to loosen, right? But let's get to something more fun. <laughs> demodex bodies, they may become trapped in the follicles. So those dead demodex bodies can become trapped in the follicles and the sebaceous glands. And that causes inflammation by blockage of the ducts. So even more inflammation can be caused from demodex mite bodies just blocking those spaces, those open crevices that are needed to, to dispose of toxins or waste uh, or to absorb nutrients as well. Furthermore, getting stuck in those meiobian oil gland ducts can cause dry eye and uh, blurred vision and vision problems, right? How does bacteria correlate with demodex mites? Eyelash mites carry harmful bacteria in their bodies. So on their surface and inside their bodies, they have a specific bacteria, streptococci and staphylococci. Both have antigens that can cause inflammatory reactions, and this is why rosacea occurs, rosacea. There's also one called Bacillus oleroneus. This bacteria lives inside the mite as well, and that causes an impact on blepharitis and rosacea. Let's, let's say you have Demodex, you kill it. Demodex body stays in that sebaceous gland or that duct. Both of those bacteria that accrue more abundantly on the skin surface lead to more critical levels of antigens to trigger a cascade of inflammatory reactions and responses. Let's say you have mites. You're, if you're asking that question currently right now, um, none of the mammals on earth are deprived of hosting these mites. And we're a, we're a mammal. So we most definitely have these mites, eyelash mites. You will probably carry more once you're older. So an older population will have these more of these mites because of the immunity, immune response. The body is a little bit weaker. It's not as strong in fighting pathogens, parasites. But kids have fewer eyelash mites anyway. It just matters regardless of the population count. All that matters is how many we have. You can always do an online test. My clinic, my uh, my company, we offer online tests. Uh, we also offer physical tests. So you can order a physical test. We do, we perform a test under a microscope and then we provide, email you the results. That's also a good, a good way to see how, how uh, large your mite proliferation is. Are they contagious? Are eyelash mites contagious? Yes, they can be transmitted from one person to the other. So sharing cosmetics, sharing bedding, clothing, personal items, you can pass it along to the to each other, even physical intimacy. So you would have to be careful. Separate products are very important for that. Some risk factors for eyelash mite outbreak could be rosacea taking immune suppressive medications. These are the risk factors. So long as your mites aren't heavily dense, you're fine. But once the population increases, you're wondering why. These are the reasons why your population would increase. So immune system defects are taking immune suppressive medications. Our natural defense is inhibited and we can't control those mites if our natural immune response is, is stopped. Using eyelash extensions is a big one. Eyelash extensions, if they're not taken care of properly, can cause demodex proliferation because of the collection of debris, dead skin cells, uh, oil under that eyelash extension, right? You can also have dermatitis, alopecia, and skin infections, and also inflammatory acne. Mainly, 
older adults do have these more so than younger. Some prevention and treatment for these eyelash mites, uh, it's very important to have obviously keep good hygiene clean your eyelashes with a good foaming cleanser you can make one at home a more natural based cleanser would be best for you you can even create one at home something herbal that was created for sensitive lashes so that's very important as well let's say you want to do something natural you can dilute it with a carrier oil with a foaming cleanser so you can put a carrier oil in there into your foaming cleanser that you have and use that on your eyelashes but make sure to rinse them off of course that's just a topical solution but my channel we talk about the root causes <laughs> we don't just talk about topical solutions because topical solutions will only go so far if you keep reoccurring that's an issue that's reasoning for contacting an expert as to why am i reoccurring what's going on with me i've been working my family we have been working with them at x mites for over 20 years uh, if not more and we did find good solutions good herbal remedies for these mites a good detoxifying herbal tea for demodex mites or parasites is important taking supplements that will boost your immune system but fundamentally is diet diet is the most important and topical solutions to get rid of those mites that is very important. Guys, it was such a pleasure speaking about eyelash mites today. I'm excited to learn more with you, to help more of you, to experience more things with you guys and teach you more information about Demodex mites and where they come from. It's very important to like, comment, and subscribe uh, this video and the channel so we get more help, so that we're helping more, so that we get the word out, uh, and so that we as a channel, we are able to help thousands if not millions of people suffering from demodex because there are millions they just don't have the information yet uh, and don't have the knowledge base and a teacher it was such a pleasure i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye guys